Convicted Kentucky lawyer Eric Kahn is back in the spotlight thanks to an upcoming Apple TV Plus documentary. Eric Kahn pulled off a $550 million fraud scheme against the Social Security Administration, affecting up to 1,700 victims. LAX 18's Ricky Sayer spoke with a lawyer who has seen have the documentary, and he explains how the focus is about more than just Kahn. Seven years after he fell victim to convicted lawyer Eric Kahn and Winchester's Clinton Mullins still lives in pain and fear. How do you cope? I really don't have a choice but to. You know, uh, it's, it's a struggle. Kahn was convicted in 2017. The result was Mullins losing his disability benefits, like 1,700 others. At one time, I was, I'd found myself uh, staying in a, a park in Lexington. No vehicle, no, no home. He fought and got those benefits back, but it's clearly not over. I still get letters say, uh, being threatened with more, more upcoming hearings. It's been a seven-year nightmare. Lawyer Ned Pillersdorf says the Social Security Administration has continued to harass Khan's former clients. He represents many victims. Everything about this guy is too much to believe. A new Apple TV documentary is set to shed light on not just Khan's scheme. The trailer dropped days ago. I think what the four-hour documentary will show is what people here locally know is how horribly the Social Security Administration has basically treated the con clients like they were criminals, even though there's no evidence they were involved. The documentary's producer spent 20 hours interviewing Pillar's Door for the project. The reality of legal battles is sometimes when a good documentary comes out, it does change the course of history. Mullins hopes it will finally bring the Social Security Administration's efforts here to a stop. Well, that would be great. That would be like uh, waking up on uh, Christmas morning uh, for, for a small child. And if nothing else? Just knowing that people will finally know what really, really happened would be the, the, the best part, I think. Shining a light on the ongoing pain for many Kentuckians. In Winchester, Ricky Sayer, LEX 18 News.